What's going on, everybody? Crazy Dog back with another Browns video for you guys. And I have some Browns coaching news to talk about as Kevin Stefanski is adding another coach to his offensive staff. As according to Mike Garofolo, and I quote, the Browns are adding veteran coach Bill Musgrave as an offensive assistant, sources say. Musgrave worked with Cleveland head coach Kevin Stefanski with the Vikings from 2011 to 2013, with Musgrave as OC and Stefanski as assistant QB coach. So you can essentially say that they are together again. And to be honest with you guys, I'm really liking this staff. And what this tells me is that uh, there's no excuses for Kevin this year. If we fail again, he's gone. Yep. Because look at the staff that we have put together so far. Especially the main coaches. You got, of course, AVP as the OC. You got Jim Schwartz as the D coordinator. You got Bubba Ventrone as the special teams coordinator. And you've got some pretty good, you know, uh, position coaches as well. You got Bill Callahan, who's still here. You got, of course, Stump Mitchell, who's been here for a while. And now you add Bill Musgrave. The defensive staff is still coming along a little bit, like what we got over there. I'm kind of surprised we haven't done more with it, but I, I think we've essentially just filled in the holes that were left by coaches leaving. You know, of course, Jeff Howard's gone. Um, our D-line coach is gone. We just replaced him with an internal guy, so nothing really new there. I mean, whatever, you know. <laughs> but um, I like what we've done so far. Now, you look at Musgrave's resume, and boy, is it a long one. Yeah, he's been coaching for a while. 1997, he got his start with the Raiders as their quarterback's coach. Then in 98, he went to the Eagles to be their offensive assistant slash interim OC. Then he went to Carolina for two years to be their quarterback's coach for one year and then their OC the next year. Then he went to college to be the Cavaliers' Virginia Cavaliers offensive coordinator. Then he went back to the NFL with the Jaguars to be their OC. Then in 05, he went to the Redskins for a season as their quarterback's coach. Then he began a stint with the Falcons from 2006 until 2010 as their quarterback's coach and then assistant head coach slash quarterback coach in 2010. Then he went to the Vikings where he met Kevin Stefanski, of course. He was their OC for three seasons. Well, of course, Kevin was the uh, assistant QB coach there. Then he went back to the Eagles in 2014 to coach quarterbacks. And then he went back to the Raiders in 2015 for two seasons to be their OC. And then in 2017, he was with the Broncos as their quarterbacks coach slash offensive coordinator. And then in 2018, he was just straight up their OC. So he's back on the sideline as an offensive assistant. Overall, I like the hire. And again, this tells me that this coaching staff has no excuses because Kevin will now have a full off season with his quarterback, the one he wanted so bad, Deshaun Watson. There's no suspensions or anything to worry about. Now they can build the offense around him. And if, like I said earlier, if this flops, he's gone. He go bye bye. So yeah. You know, his seat's a little uh, hot right now. There's no excuses, Kevin. You know? I need you to go out there and uh, give us some results. Mainly a winning record. Playoff. How about this time? You actually coach in the playoff game. Okay? Because the guy that took over for you is gone now. Yeah. Briefer, of course, coached in 2020 during that playoff game. And we won. So, uh, we need to see results, Kevin. Okay? None of this tomfoolery garbage that we saw last year. I mean, yeah, you could say that Deshaun Watson essentially had to play with an offense that was tailored to Jacoby Brissett. Well, now the offense is going to be tailored specifically for Deshaun. No excuses this year, Kevin. All right? Otherwise, you're gone. You're going to be looking for another job next year. Because we all know Jimmy Haslam has the itchiest trigger finger of all the owners in the league. You're lucky he hasn't freaking pulled the trigger on you yet. And you know, he's he's giving you chances. I mean, this, is, this might be your last chance. 
So make it count. Okay? But yeah, guys, with that being said, I'm going to head out. I will see you in uh, my stream in a little bit. This video will most likely not be posted until after the game. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure people are going to be asking me about this higher in this stream. You're going to get my thoughts in this video. So, yeah, let me know what you think. As always, give this video a big thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell. All that other wonderful stuff. And so become a member if you want exclusive perks. And, um, yeah, see you guys in a little bit for Cavs Raptors. Or by the time you're watching this video, that game's over. Hopefully we won. <laughs> okay, guys, see you later. I'm Crazy Dog. Let's go, Browns. And I'm out.